Are you gonna ask questions? Okay. So how do you feel about the teens in the, this community? Well, you know, some of them have their mind set on like the right thing to achieve their goals, but others they don't. But I believe if they put their mind to it, then they'll be able to do it. We need more things because like there's nothing to do around here. There's like there's nothing to do exactly. Like it's just empty. Well, like, everyone doesn't know about Babcock. Like some people like Babcock. Where's that? And then you gotta like tell them. They go, Oh, that's what that's called. Huh. And I'm like, Yeah, that, that's Babcock. Well, the neighborhood has its ups and its downs. Like <clears throat> sometimes you can't even go to the park without someone trying to start a fight. But yet everybody in the neighborhood knows each other, so that's a big problem. Um, but. It's a good thing that people know each other because sometimes everybody has your back when you need them. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Going to the church. You know what hey, what's up, guys? Yo, woo! yo, JV, woo! Yeah, you already know. Man. Going to the church and stuff, man. Just hanging out. All right, so pretty much the neighborhood ends at the top of the bridge, and everyone pretty much knows each other. They're all pretty much family. I'm related to most of the people in the neighborhood. Which really isn't fair. Why isn't it fair? Because then everyone can tell my mom if I do something bad. <clears throat> the neighborhood's pretty sectioned off by the throughway, some ro railroad tracks, a bridge, um, and there really isn't much here. There's um, the Boys and Girls Club, there's um, the Seneca Babcock Community Center, there's a group called Steps across the street, and then there's the church. and. What the church does is we um, we have an after-school program for K through eighth graders. We've got about 50 kids signed up through that. And then we also run a teen program where kids can come in, get some homework done, have a computer to use, um, just basically be around friends and in a safe environment where that might not happen other places. I'd like to encourage any adults that know teenagers or have teenagers that you need to change the way that you speak to your teenagers because you can build them up and, and create in them passion to do good, but you can also bring them down. And, and if you crush them at that age, then it leads into their adult life, so. Life. We want this school to get purchased for like people to come hang. We know there's a pool in there and it, there's not many pools in the neighborhood and there's a lot of pools in other neighborhoods and some people can't leave this neighborhood because uh, I don't know. I don't know. Parents like this. are a little too overprotective. Yeah. And if it gets purchased it, we could do a lot of cool things in there, like hang out, have like stuff going on, activities. What kind of activities would you want to have there? It's a bigger space, we could do more stuff. There is a big old gym in here, and I know a lot of the guys at the church would want to play some basketball in here. And then there's other rooms in here where kids can go hang, they can do, like set up projects. Yeah, like, for the neighborhood or something. Yeah. If they're involved with good activities, then that will, that will make, that will make sure that they're not, like, being inside the house bored or, like, outside not, not doing anything, just, just sitting there bored and stuff. That's, that's why. You working with the youth, how, how was that experience? Um, it's great. I get to see kids every day who are happy to be here most of the time and appreciate what I'm doing for them. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, rushing things downtown so they have a job for the summer or picking them up at bus stations because they miss their buses from school. Um, it's just a good time. I love working with you guys. So we're just doing a little small uh, documentary see, just for you guys to see that, uh, you know, we're doing it, we're impacting the group. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, you already know. No, but uh, you know, behind the scenes, you know, we're just doing, we're doing it out here. You know, we're impacting the uh, the neighborhood with our laughter, our charm, and our good looks. But uh, 
we're about to do another one, so uh, we'll keep you guys in touch. Follow us at Seneca Street, you already know. Shout outs to uh, the camera crew, team, and you know everybody else. Thank you guys. The children around here, they want them to be more educated, so there's more things for them to do. But us as teens, we don't really have much to do because they just think that we're gonna go get a job and be able to entertain ourselves, so we'll have money to do more things. In reality, we really just don't. That there should be more things for like us age group to do instead of just get like getting in bad situations with bad people and doing bad things, thinking it's fun and it's not. I think there should be more recreational activities for us to, to do that like we would actually enjoy instead of just saying, oh I wanna go arts and crafts. No. It's hard to find things for teens to do especially that don't cost a lot of money because we don't have the money to go to the movies or to go to a ball game or something that we have to pay for. We have to find things that are free like kickball or hide and seek or overnights, things like that. So getting, uh, you know, going to ball games and doing stuff that are expensive, like how do you guys find the money? Um, we do fundraising, not enough, but um, we do do some fundraising. Um, we also have awesome people who donate so that we can go other places. Um, we have a woman who donated a bat, um, bowling party for us. That was awesome. Um, I think we had a good time. Things like that. Generosity of others. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're kind of stuck in the middle. You know, we're, we're like the middle generation. You know, there's the adults and then there's the youngers. And I'm like, you know, the young people look up to us and they see what we do. And then the old people look down, like, they kind of look at us like, oh, let's see what they can prove to us. You know, and if we prove to everybody that we can do things in this neighborhood, you know, good things and you know, do good in the world. You know? So I'd suggest that teenagers could come up with ways themselves that they think that they could make a difference and not depend on adults to, to have to entertain them. So one of the things that I decided to do for fun was um, we, I didn't have like a lot of like youth leadership and the only youth leader I had was my brother-in-law and um, I really wanted to do something different and so basically I asked him, I'm like, hey Rick, I want to do something different and he told me Okay, Ruth, you have to come up with the idea and you have to you have to go and do whatever you want to do. So I came up with this idea to do a car wash on my birthday. I invited all of my friends. We had a big, like big party and we brought all this food. We went into a parking lot and we did a free car wash for the neighborhood. It was the best time ever. <laughs> and it became a tradition that every year on July 30th and now they still do it without me we give a free car washing clearance and it's been five years you like uh you know being active and stuff yeah I like to exercise and run around and let my energy out mm -hmm. so does living in this neighborhood does it affect anything in your life like school wise or anything not really because I know right from wrong but yet you have some kids who grew up knowing that the way their lifestyle is, that's the way they're going to live for the rest of their life, so they don't try their hardest. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably not as bad as everyone was put to. I mean, everyone's like scumbags, or all these drunks, and all these weird people, and all homeless people, and all. It's not like every other neighborhood. Well, at least in Buffalo, at least. Yeah, it's not the worst, but it's not the best of the best. Yeah, there's a lot people could change, but they need to put their minds to it and work together. Oh, I used to come and catch bugs over here. Amazing tree.